Before they can clean up, it's time for a boring investigation. So I'm digging an inspection pit down to 1.2 to make sure there's no services. Uh, CAT scans, once we've given, given the clear, uh, we start to drill. They're trying to find exactly where the toxic tarry mud is. That means boring down through the covering soil into the tar and then out the other side. Basically, we drive steel tubes, uh, which comprises from five inch down to three inch, uh, and they sort of then we put a steel casing in, which actually stabilises the hole. As they drill down, one metre cores are removed. Some layers are gravel and don't make good cores, but they're building up a picture of where the tar is. Okay, yeah. Below the top layer, they're into the tar. So we've got the May ground down to, it looks like, maybe 1.5 metres. Yep. Uh, slight bit of uh, oily, a, oily smelly, smelly yep. material. Yep. This is a combination of clay and gravel. If you smell it, it smells a little bit like bitumen or tarmac. Paul Mantell needs to know where to dig out the potentially polluting tar. They've gone down six metres and seem to have gone beyond the tar, but they need to make sure. Just retrieving the last sample. They've found the main body of tarry toxic mud, but how deep does it go? That's what the final course should show. Finally, Paul gets to see exactly what he's dealing with. If I just break this up, clean London clay, absolutely perfect, just the job. The drilling reveals the scale of the problem. To get rid of the leaked tar, they have to remove 24,000 tonnes of mud. 